Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans and today I want to show you how to delegate your DSKs. So DSK stands for Downstream Keyer and it allows you to bring on different elements like lower thirds, uh, graphics, even picture-in-picture -picture elements and you can bring them on screen using a variety of different transitions, trajectories and other effects individually or group them together to bring them on screen at the same time by using the DSK Delegate. There's a few different ways to do this, so let's dive in and take a look. All right, so here we are in the TriCaster TC1 interface, and over in my program windows, I have this girl doing her streaming show, and what I want to do is bring on different downstream keyers into her broadcast. So for example, I have these downstream keyers here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring on the first one that I have an animation on, so that one's gonna slide in on the right up here at the top, and then I have my Tuesday tutorial graphic here at the bottom that comes up from the bottom and my little stormy cloud here that comes from the top. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and take all those off screen. So you notice when I did that, I have to basically have to do them one at a time. So there's no way for me to do all of these like that and kind of make them look like they're coming on uh, at a decent time. So what I want to do is be able to tie those together to make one action to then trigger those animations. So to do that, we can delegate them. If you're using the TriCaster interface, just using with a keyboard and mouse, this is one way to do it. So uh, you'll see that I have these buttons for downstream keyer one, two, three, and four. All you have to do is click on them. So you'll see DSK1 is now turned blue, and now so is DSK2 and DSK3. Now every time I've added those, you'll notice that they show up over here on my preview monitor as well, so you can kind of get a preview of what your shot is going to look like. And now to enact this, in order to bring in all of those different uh, lower thirds, uh, graphics, animations, etc. On, on screen at the same time, all you have to do is go over to your T-bar here and either use this manually and bring it down like this and check it out. They all show up and with their own individual trajectories at the same time or I can put it back where I had it and then press auto and check it out. Now they all will come in at the same time using the DSK delegation. Okay, now I'm doing this, let me put this back to normal here. So I'm doing this all off of the, uh, the keyboard and mouse side of things, but there's another way to do that and that is by using the TriCaster control surface. So I have a TC1 control surface here on my desk and then you'll notice here next to my T-bar is where I have some tools to delegate some of my downstream keyers. So right now I have background selected, which means that that is going to uh, be able to switch between whatever is on my preview row. So if I use my T-bar here, check it out, my program and preview row have switched. All right, cool. Well, that's not what we want to do here. What we want to do is bring on those downstream keyers. So the way that you can do that is either by pressing them just one by one, or what I'm going to do is hold them all three of these down, and then you'll notice they all light up at the same time. So, from here, I can do that same thing. I can either use a T-bar to bring them in, or I can use auto to bring those in as well. So there's two different ways you can do it, just depending on how you want to have your TriCaster configured. Now, I'm doing this only on the downstream keyer side of my TriCaster, but there's another way to do this too, and that is by using our upstream keyers within our mix effects. So, I'm gonna go ahead and swap my mix effects over here to my main window here. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna get rid of these because we're not gonna use them. I'm going to go ahead and uh, have my mix effect number two do just two different ones. So it'll be some of the same graphics but a different action here. So uh, from here I have keyer number one and keyer number two. Let's go ahead and turn those on real quick. And then if I hit auto, bam, they all show up. They're all coming on with the fade, etc. Now I can do that exact same thing on the TriCaster TC1 control surface by going over to this portion of my control surface and holding down key one, key two, and then let's go ahead and hit auto, and bam, same effect. So as you can see, the DSK Delegate can help you achieve some pretty cool results. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for more information on new tech products, contact your local reseller or visit newtech.com. Also, be sure to check out newtech.tv where we will be posting regular programming about new tech products, features, and interviews with special guests. 
Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on the next edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.